Hey guys, and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Jessica Jones. This actually was a pretty good show. It took me a few days to actually finish all the episodes. It definitely dragged a bit. It's totally different from uh, Daredevil. Totally different. And, you know, it, following her and, you know, doing flashbacks of, you know, what happened to her, what led her to, you know, be this way. This is definitely a lot darker than the comic book character. I, did, I never read anything about the comic book character or anything. Don't know nothing about the character, but from watching uh, the show and then, you know, from the pictures I've seen of her, it's totally different. She's a darker looking character, more grittier than what I've seen in the comics. And in the comic book, she seems like this happy-go-lucky person. And the show, she's none of that. Nothing like that at all. Um, it's definitely it's definitely something way different than what I, uh, we would have expected from Jessica Jones. But it was definitely an amazing show. I liked some stuff in there. The fight scenes that they did have, you know, could have been a little bit better, but you know, it still wasn't that bad. It was actually a pretty good show. Um, and then you have, you know, her meeting Luke Cage was pretty cool. That was actually a pretty cool little sequence. Um, hopefully the Luke Cage show will probably lead up to the story of how he became, you know, how he got his abilities and all that. Um, I'm thinking that's what they're going to be doing, which will lead up to, you know, Jessica Jones. Who knows? Or maybe you just take place after this one and we'll find out what happened or who knows who knows how they're gonna do that that show but you know i think it was casted very well i liked um what's his name is the purple man oh my god uh david Tennant as the purple man was pretty awesome he did a phenomenal job and um you know kristen ritter did was pretty good she put on some muscle of course you know she got into shape for this role and she definitely did an amazing job as well um uh, i the way the show progressed it was pretty cool definitely pretty awesome the way they, the way this show ended, you know, you can see the purple man turning purple and then him dying. I don't know if he's dead. I, I don't know. I, maybe he, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see if he's actually dead, dead. Um, but it was, it was pretty awesome to see, to see that, um, to see him slowly progress and becoming purple himself. We'll see what the next season begins, uh, what it has, but, uh, I liked how that one officer showing him, you know, progressing and him becoming a bad guy. Maybe he might be a main villain in the next season. We'll see how that goes with him taking his pills, little pill popping himself, you know. This is what he would look like in the comic books. This is what he, he looked like in the comics. So, yeah, so that's what he's going to become uh, for all of you guys who don't know, um, who have never read the comics or anything like that. I had to look, I looked it up as well because I was like, for him being who he, who, for him who, being who he is, it, I don't know, it was just something about, I was like, like the name sounds familiar, let me look it up and see. And I was right. There was it's definitely something that's going to be going on. So I had to check it out. And it, it's going to be pro pretty promising. Pretty promising. Um, if you have not checked out the show, definitely check out uh, the Jessica Jones. If you have not seen Daredevil, definitely check them out. You can check them out back to back. You don't get no cameo from uh, from Daredevil. I mean, from Matt Murdock or Foggy Nelson. You get no cameo from anybody from that, that, that show. I was kind of hoping maybe like a little cameo maybe. Or something, but if eh, we don't get anything at all, they do get like a little mention here and there. Um, of course, they do reference the whole thing that happened in the Avengers one movie, so that's kind of cool. Um, we wait to see, and then hopefully, you know, of course, Daredevil season two is coming out in a couple of months, so that's gonna be pretty awesome with uh, Electra and the Punisher, which is definitely a pretty cool show, all on its own for many reasons. But until then, guys, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts if you've seen it. Leave a comment below. And I'll be seeing you guys around for more movie reviews, uh, TV shows, and all that stuff. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.